Hello friends, I have some new studio lights to show you today. I say they're new, but I've been using them for a few months now. They are from Newer. And I took some notes with the specifications and some of my uh, likes and dislikes about them. But in general, this is gonna be a boring review because you know what, they just work. <laughs> That's it, they just work. I like them, I'll put a link below to them. Um, Newer did send me these lights. However, they sent them to me because I asked for them because I've been using some newer lights that I purchased probably a couple years ago now and I have really liked them, but they were smaller and less powerful. Let's go through my specifications and likes and dislikes about them. First of all, they have a lot of lights. There are 1,320 bicolor LED bulbs. There is actually 660 white and 660 yellow. You can change the color temperature as well as dim the lights using a couple of knobs on the back of the lights. It's a ton of light, especially for something that's like the size of a couple of iPads. It's actually less than an inch thick and they weigh a little over four and a half pounds each. So pretty light, pretty thin, which means to me that it's easier to have around my studio and easy to store, which I'll get back to storage of them in a minute. Not that I ever store them because I use them a few times a week at least. Oh, something that I really enjoy about these is that they are on a ball head on the back so that you can position them or aim them in any which way. In fact, what I am doing right now is bouncing the light a little bit off of my ceiling. So I have them all tilted just a little bit up and it softens the light. The reason I'm bouncing the light is that even though these lights come with a piece of like translucent white plastic that acts as a filter uh, that you can slide in front of them, which I do have on all of the lights, even though it has that filter, the light is still fairly harsh. So bouncing the light really helps with softening it a little bit. And because there is so much light because of the power of the lights, bouncing it is a possibility with these. The only thing that is a little difficult about the ball head is that the knob that you use to uh, increase or, or decrease tension is a little difficult to get to. I mentioned that you can use a battery with them. You can, they come with the AC cables, but you can also purchase batteries separately so that you can take these guys out into the field if you need to. Speaking of taking them out into the field or storage, they come with a carrying case. Another handy thing is that these lights are silent and they don't get real hot. I have had continuous lights in the past that got hot and for the person sitting in front of the lights, whether that be a portrait subject, if you wanna use these for portraits or me sitting here filming a video, it's really nice that they don't get hot. And the last thing that I wanted to mention with these lights is that I would recommend using a sturdy light stand. The light stands I am using are not available. I just received them with another light kit many, 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 many years ago, but I will link below to some light stands that appear to have the same dimensions as the ones that I have. So while these lights are pretty lightweight, um, you know, they're very thin, they are on that ball head, so they do stick out a little bit. And because I do have my lights out all of the time and I'm moving them around all of the time and I can be a little klutzy walking around my studio trying to you know move things around in between filming, um, sometimes I knock them a little bit. And I did put these lights on a thinner, less sturdy tripod and I didn't like it. They wobbled a little bit too much for my comfort. So I put them on these slightly sturdier light stands. Uh, and just as a tip to let you know what I do, I always face where the, um, the light is pointed, where that, where that ball head is sticking out. I always point that in the same direction as one of the light stand legs. So that just makes it a little bit more sturdy. For the price, I think these things are <laughs> they're what I wanted. These are what I purchased or what I would have purchased had newer said, no, we don't want to send them to you. Um, since they did, thank you. But 
yeah, I really like them. I can't say anything else about them. The only thing that I don't love is that it's difficult to, um, to use the little tension screw, but such a good trade-off for the price. So that's it. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link down below to uh, where these are on Amazon so that you can see how, how much they are in your area. And if you have any other questions about them, let me know. I, if you're curious about um, how I deal with white balance, um, you know, in the studio with using different lighting and different cameras and stuff, I can make a video about that, but let me know if that's something you're interested in. And that's it. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll talk to you soon.